Hello YouTube, this is iPadX once again here and today I want to present you the rewrite of the Asterix and Obelix XXL1 patch and now comes the news, the new XXL2 patch. It's finally done, it's finally here. Uh, I unfortunately couldn't do any much testing for now, but so far it seems to work fine. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, how do we apply this patch and how do you make it work? So first of all, to show it uh, once again, what's the issue for Asterix and Obelix XXL1? You will most likely get this error message here, an installation error has occurred, blah, 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 and the game will just not work. Yep, that's the issue. Um, the same or something similar applies for Asterix and Obelix XXL2 where you will launch a game and simply nothing will happen because you can see here yep the game module.eobly will just freeze and do nothing and my patch will be able to fix that so uh, how do we fix it first let's do it for xxl1 it's very straightforward you go into the video description and You'll find links to these two files. So first of all, we're going to use the XXL1 patch. So um, go ahead and extract the files in there. There we have a patch readme in case you forget something and want to check it again. Um, and we have the actual patcher. And what you want to do is go into the folder here, XXL, drag the game module.elb onto the patcher and it will say successfully applied patch. Now you might be, uh, you might, uh, oh, it's, it's, it still says XXL2 patch, but it's actually the right one. I'll fix that after I make the video. Anyway, now it says I successfully applied the patch and we see uh, the patcher automatically, automatically creates a backup of the old file. And now if you launch the game, ooh, it works. Isn't that cool? So uh, there we go, uh, the game works fine, I uh, can show a little demo, although, yeah, probably going to take a few moments because I can skip that stupid intro. So I hope you're a bit on the more patient side. So, yep, we can get the menu just fine and start a new game, and there we go, we can start playing. So I'm just going to close this now because uh, I don't think uh, we need any more demonstrations. So, but we also have the XXL2 patch. So let's do it for that as well. Um, let's pick the right window here. So we also open this little uh, zip file and we will extract the XXL2 patcher. There we have it. And now go ahead and Grab this game module.elb and pull it onto the XXL2 patcher and it'll say successfully applied patch. And we see we have a backup again. So we applied the patch successfully. And uh, let's go. Uh, first of all, I'm going to eject my XXL2 disk because I want to demonstrate something. Because if we launch the game now, even though I do not have the disk inserted, it works fine. Uh, the same uh, actually applies for XXL1. Anyway, you will see that there's a black background and usually there's an intro video that plays back. Now, if I would have my uh, CD inserted, it would work. But actually, a very neat thing is that it actually exists in the vanilla game, which I didn't install myself, is that you can go ahead and insert the CD. There we go, uh, Windows detected my CD. We, uh, if you go to the CD, go into the data folder, copy the video folder, like that, and just drop it into the game directory. So while this copies, so uh, yeah, the game actually brings this feature completely on its own. I didn't implement it. Uh, so if you place the video folder from the CD in the folder here, uh, it will uh, read the videos from the hard disk directly and won't require the CD at all. Which is, I think, pretty neat and also greatly increases loading times. 
So yeah, I'll uh, uh, wait until it's done and I'll be back. So copying the video folder is done now. And uh, if you start the game again, you'll see that it actually plays the intro videos just fine. And uh, same goes for the in-game videos. It's a bit loud. So anyway, I don't think uh, I need to demonstrate that any further. You've seen it works. Also, one thing big before I'm going to stop the videos. Please, please, please do not try to patch a crack game module.elb or any kind of modified game module.elb because guess what? It's not going to work. And um, yeah, so make sure you get a, a clean copy of the game module.elb uh, from your regular retail CD or whatever or from whatever third-party sources you might want to ask. Anyway, uh, please, please, please uh, do not complain if the game, like if you patch a uh, crack game module.elb, the game will most likely crash or not even boot up at all. So please don't complain about that anymore because I've had a bunch of questions in my old video uh, where people said, oh, like patching this is not working because whatever, yeah. So uh, please, uh, yeah, uh, take that into account. And also, why do I not just provide these files directly for download? Why do I do the complete, uh, like the complicated route uh, with these patcher programs? And the reason for this is simply because uh, it's the more legit way to how to do it. Because these files, if I put them up for public download, uh, they're pretty much a copyright infringement. So uh, yeah, I've, if I want to make it the most legally clean way, I just use these patching utilities because I don't like upload their original game module.elb directly. And I only like upload something that is contains the difference between the changes I made. This, uh, this is what these uh, patcher programs apply. So yeah, I think uh, that wraps it up pretty much. So uh, yeah, that's uh, it for today. And have fun playing and see you another time. Bye bye.